this problem, since we're trying to find an equation of a parabola given its focus on directrix, I like to start by actually visualizing it. Because once you visualize it, it's a lot easier to figure out. So let's go ahead and plot the focus. Negative 2 and 5 would be uh, somewhere around here, let's say. So that's our focus. Negative 2, 5. And our directrix is the line y equals 9. So that would be somewhere up here. That's y equals 9. That helps us a lot because now we can actually visually figure out the value of the vertex of the parabola. Because the vertex is going to be halfway between the focus and the directrix. So we know immediately that the vertex is going to have uh, an x value of negative 2, because it's going to be along that same vertical line we have there. And then to find out the y coordinate, well, it's halfway between the focus and the directrix. So what's halfway between 5 and 9? Well, it's easy, that's just 7. Now we should also be able to figure out which direction the parabola is opening because the parabola is always going to open in the direction away from the directrix. So since the directrix is above our vertex, our parabola is going to be opening away from it, downwards. Because of that, we know that we're dealing with a parabola where x is going to be squared, not y squared. Because if you have a parabola where y is squared, it's going to be opening to the left or right. So based on that, we can actually cross out options 1 and 2 because both of those involve an equation where y is squared, which is not what we're looking for. So instead, we're going to be using the formula, or the equation format of x minus h squared is equal to 4p multiplied by y minus k. So remember, h and k represent the x and y coordinates of the vertex. So we can replace h with negative 2, um, so instead of subtracting a negative, it's going to be adding. So it'll be x plus 2 squared. And that's equal to 4p multiplied by y minus our k value of positive 7. So it'll be y minus 7. Okay, so now we just need to figure out our p value. Well, the, to find the p value, we need to look at the distance between the vertex and the focus. And we can see visually pretty quickly that that distance there is 2. But because it's moving downwards in a negative direction, uh, the, the value of p is actually negative 2. So 4p is actually the same thing as 4 multiplied by negative 2, which is negative 8. So that means our final equation will be x plus 2 squared equals negative 8 times y minus 7. And that match in, matches option number four. All right, hope that was helpful, and thanks for visiting JD's preparation.